I mean, they really have hit uh, a sticky patch of, of Liverpool. Just have a look at that. Two, three losses and a defeat. What stands out more than anything is the goals being conceded at an alarming rate, Michael. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's been a, a real change of, of back four, hasn't there? Especially at the centre uh, of defence in recent weeks with lots of injuries. But there's no real excuse. Still top players playing there and still big mistakes being made all season. It's not just goals conceded. It's the amount of shots. Yeah. Um, you know, we've we've gone on about it for weeks and weeks now, how uh, how these type of results, sadly, from a Liverpool point of view, aren't a surprise anymore. And it's incredible how it happened. It happened not so long ago mm. in the COVID hit season. Liverpool just couldn't <clears throat> buy a result. And it was like a shadow of the team. And then they bounced back and it was just, oh, just a one-off season. And now Liverpool are back in that season again and, and in need of, of bouncing back and rekindling that old flame. I, I'm just as alarmed as the goal scored. I mean, they've scored one goal in four games. Mm. Away yeah. from and none in the last three, by the yeah, way. That's very on Liverpool. Like, yeah. you know, we're talking that they're a bit weak in midfield, they're missing Van Dijk at the back, but we'd still expect them to be able to create opportunities and yeah. score goals. And Jurgen Klopp said he thought it was a good away performance for 45 minutes without scoring. Well, they're a team that we've come to assume will score goals, but they're struggling to at the moment. I've got to point you towards the next fixture for Liverpool, considering what we've seen today from Everton at home to Arsenal. For the Merseyside derby, things have switched quite dramatically. Well, yeah. Yeah, before today's game. <laughs> yeah. Well, a week ago, I was really not looking forward to that game, but I am now. Everton looked like a team with new life, with new desire and a more suited way of playing. And Liverpool aren't scoring and are conceding. So on paper, it looks like Everton are going into this despite being in the bottom three in a much fresher and stronger position. But... Derbies can change seasons. Derbies, form goes out the window. So it'll be about who turns up on the day, but I'm more positive now than I was last week. <laughs>